2025 was a year where our planet revealed secrets that were hidden for billions of years and others that impact us right now. Scientists used satellites, ancient rocks, telescopes, underground sensors, machine learning, and human curiosity to paint a picture of Earth that is stranger, more incredible, and more fragile than we ever realized. You are about to hear 10 real discoveries that reshaped how we see the Earth. Some change what we know about the origins of life, others reveal dangers we must confront now. Let us dive into the first discovery of the year. Scientists uncovered that the moon was not just a dead rock orbiting Earth, but a silent collector of our atmosphere. New research published in late 2025 revealed that Earth's magnetic field does not block all particles from escaping. Instead, when the moon passes through Earth's magnetic tail during full moons, charged particles from our upper atmosphere get pulled toward the lunar surface by magnetic field lines. This means that tiny amounts of nitrogen, helium, and water-related molecules have been traveling from Earth to the moon for nearly 3.7 billion years. This atmospheric transfer was previously thought to be limited to the time before Earth's magnetic field formed, but scientists used data from Apollo-era lunar samples to show that the lunar soil contains a record of Earth's atmospheric particles long after the magnetic shield developed. In 2025, scientists using radar satellites discovered something worrying underneath dozens of major dams in the United States. The satellites can measure changes in ground height down to millimeters using a technique called INSAR. When researchers looked at data from the past decade, they found that at least 41 dams across 13 states and Puerto Rico are sinking or tilting unevenly. In some cases, the rate is as much as 8 millimeters per year. One dam, the Livingston Dam in Texas, was already in trouble after heavy rains caused erosion and structural damage in 2024. The new satellite information showed that foundations beneath the dam were shifting. Structural engineers now see the satellite measurements as a new early warning system that can detect slow but dangerous movements long before a failure becomes imminent. One of the biggest revelations of 2025 was in our own deep past. Scientists discovered that complex life began evolving much earlier and in very unexpected conditions. Until now, most textbooks said that complex organisms needed oxygen and the rise of oxygen in Earth's atmosphere to flourish. But a new study published in the journal Nature showed that crucial features of complex cells developed long before oxygen became abundant. Using expanded molecular clocks and new genetic analysis, researchers found that key cellular structures associated with complexity emerged in ancient oceans that had almost no oxygen. These oceans were rich in other chemicals, and life found a way to innovate slowly over time. This discovery rewrites ancient Earth history. It pushes the window for complex life back by hundreds of millions of years. Instead of waiting for oxygen to surge, life was experimenting, innovating, and adapting in a kind of twilight ocean where chemistry was rich, but air was thin. In 2025, scientists announced a breakthrough method to detect signs of ancient life in rocks over 3.3 billion years old. Using machine learning, they trained computers to recognize chemical fingerprints that are uniquely biological, even when the original molecules are long gone. Rocks from South Africa that were suspected to contain microbial traces were reanalyzed and found to hold patterns consistent with early life at more than 3.3 billion years ago. In addition to these signals of microbial mats, they also found evidence of oxygen-producing photosynthesis in rocks dated to about 2.5 billion years ago. That pushes back by hundreds of millions of years the timeline for when life was not just surviving, but shaping the chemistry of the planet. The new method works with over 90% accuracy to distinguish between organic molecules from living processes and those formed abiotically. In 2025, researchers made what is probably one of the most disturbing environmental discoveries of our time. Scientists found microscopic plastic particles not just in human blood and lungs, but in organs including the liver, kidneys, placenta, and most shockingly, in the human brain. Studies suggest that 
that microplastics may make up as much as half a percent of brain mass in some samples. Even more concerning, scientists found correlations between microplastic accumulation and diseases such as Alzheimer's and heart disease. In mouse experiments, microplastics accelerated cognitive decline in animals predisposed to Alzheimer's type conditions. Microplastics were also discovered widely in food and drinks, especially in hot or processed items where heat releases more particles. Researchers believe that plastic packaging and processing expose people to tiny plastic fragments constantly without them knowing. Scientists are calling for standardized methods to measure microplastics and urgent research into long-term health effects as plastic production continues to grow worldwide. On July 30th, 2025, the United States and India launched a game-changing Earth observation satellite called NISAR. This dual-frequency radar platform is designed to detect tiny changes in land and ice movements across the entire planet with millimeter level precision. What makes NISAR extraordinary is that it can see through clouds, rain, and vegetation using radar. It will measure glacial melt, monitor shifting groundwater, detect landslides weeks before they happen, and track surface movements caused by earthquakes. The satellite repeats its measurements every 12 days, building a continuous high-resolution data set of Earth's dynamic surface. This landmark mission is the largest collaboration between India's space agency and NASA. It symbolizes a leap in how we monitor climate change and natural hazards in real time. Scientists say the data from NISAR will improve disaster response, early warning systems, and deepen our understanding of how Earth's crust and ice sheets are changing. Iceland, long one of the last places on Earth without mosquitoes, suddenly had them. Citizen scientists captured specimens of a species that can survive cold climates, marking the first verified presence of mosquitoes on the island. This is more than an odd animal sighting. It shows how rising average temperatures are shifting ecological boundaries. Iceland's ecosystem evolved without the biting insects that define summers in most parts of the world. Now that boundary has moved. The arrival of mosquitoes could impact food webs, bird populations, and human comfort. It shows that climate change is not something distant, it is rewriting the rules of life even in places once thought too cold for change. Building on the other discoveries about early life, researchers in 2025 found that the ocean chemistry that allowed complexity was present much earlier than textbooks suggested. A team from the University of Bristol used new molecular clock data showing that biological complexity emerged slowly over nearly a billion years before oxygen was common in the atmosphere. Instead of waiting for Earth to fill with oxygen, early organisms found ways to build complexity in oxygen-free environments with strange chemistries, changing our understanding of how early evolution unfolded this discovery is not just about ancient biology, it also impacts how we search for life on other planets. If complexity can evolve without oxygen, we might find it on exoplanets with very different atmospheres than Earth. Imagine looking up into the sky and not realizing you had company. In 2025, astronomers identified a tiny celestial body called 2025 PN7 that quietly orbits the Sun in a path very similar to Earth. It is known as a quasi-moon because it does not orbit Earth directly, but its motion stays close to Earth's trajectory. This small asteroid is only about 62 feet wide and is faint and hard to see. It likely has been near us for decades, but was unnoticed until advanced telescopes detected it. Predictions suggest it will remain in a near-Earth orbit for about 60 more years. This discovery matters because quasi-moons give scientists clues to how Earth's gravitational neighborhood works and may someday become targets for exploration or resource missions. It also reminds us that space around our planet is more crowded and dynamic than we imagine. 2025 brought one of the rarest astronomical visitors ever recorded, an interstellar comet named 3I Atlas. Unlike comets that originate in our solar system, this object came from another star system and passed through our neighborhood at incredible speed. 
Observations from telescopes around the world show that as it approached the Sun and then Earth's vicinity, its chemistry changed in surprising ways. It began to glow a distinct green as it heated up, caused by diatomic carbon releasing light in its coma. This color change told astronomers about the comet's composition and the nature of interstellar objects. What makes it extraordinary is that it connects us to the wider galaxy. Every time we study an interstellar visitor, we get data about environments that formed comets in distant star systems billions of years ago. This expands our understanding of how planets and stars form across the universe and how Earth fits into the bigger story of cosmic evolution. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Livy Kozlowski. I will see you again soon. Bye.